react. So y'all, I drunk some yesterday and I was around doing some things in the house and stuff like that. Y'all, I wanna know. And if you wanna know, talk to me in the comments about what I do find and I'll, I'll come back at a later date to talk to you guys about that. So, all right. Hey my gators, good morning, it's still morning. I just want to jump on and let you guys know that I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the ones that are over on the CPR vibe watching the content and realizing I am posting over there. So if you did not know and you are new to this channel and you enjoyed this channel, check out my other channel, The CPR Vibe. That's T-H-E-C-P-R-V-I-B-E. So check out that channel. Um, I just wanted to come to you guys real quick because I don't know when I'm going to be able to post this, but I'm like, I am not, <laughs> if you know me, I just, I like to be comfortable period. I like to be comfortable and if somebody has a problem with that then like I said, you know, to each his own. I like to be comfortable. I always represent myself well and I'm not you know, sloppy comfortable or just like unkept unclean comfortable. I do go every morning at 4.30 to go do what I need to do for myself and I literally am like literally coming home showering and and getting myself together to relax and then i try to get up about no later than 10 between 10 11 30 to to get work done which is what i'm getting ready to do now um so i definitely want y'all to know i am posting over there i'm getting ready to try to edit some stuff um which i still have videos that i need to release anyways but my body talks to me and a lot of you body probably talk to you as well. A lot of your bodies probably talk to you as well, but you don't understand it or don't know what's going on. Okay. Pain, mucus, like congestion, um, things that are just like, oh, hold on y'all. I know I spray, so, you know, when you have plants, you gotta, I seen a little, bug and I don't do bugs I do not do blood bugs and I got a lot of plants but I do not do bugs um so if I see them I start spraying around my plant soil and stuff like that just to make sure that I get them but it's like few and far between I see a little gnat flying but mm -mm, I can't do the bugs can't do the bugs so um anywho uh my body has been talking to me and I've been on a journey of wanting to uh save money um and i've never been a starbucks girl dunkin donuts girl buy coffee from anywhere girl i haven't and i see that that's like a trendy thing and people have just been doing a lot of it you know what i mean old school is people just brew their own coffee and they just make it and you know make your cup how you want to but now everybody's into you know spending an arm and a leg for a cup of coffee and hold on sorry i hate when the music stops and someone starts talking so, um, with that being said, uh, I never, I never did that. I never was that person. I just felt like it was a waste of money and having it to spend and not having it to spend has nothing to do with if someone can't afford something. Do, do you get what I mean? Like just because you have the money for it, that don't always necessarily mean you can afford it. And just because you can afford it, that doesn't all, it always necessarily mean you should be buying it. You get, you get what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know, whatever. So what I've been experiencing is that um, as I'm going through this personal journey that I'm going through at this moment, um, I would love to have iced coffees every now and then. And I didn't drink them every morning. It might be like three times maybe four times if I really was you know drinking it drinking it like that in a week and I told you I used to deal with my back hurting and all that stuff right so the crazy part about it is I said let me stick away from it let me get away from it for a little while and mm, let me get away from it and not drink it let me get away from it and see how I feel let, let me let me see how my back acts, how I reacts. So y'all, I drunk some yesterday and I was around doing some things in the house and stuff like that. Y'all, it was instantaneously my back 
begin to lock up and hurt? Have you dealt with this? Do you know why? I'm going to do more research because I've heard it before, but I've never paid an attention. I never associated that back pain with coffee because, you know, I had an ask, accident. I had an accident several years ago. And I remember them saying, you know, it depends on, you know, what you do. You got to be careful. Still years later, you know, it can affect you if you move the wrong way, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, when your time comes and all that other stuff. So I took it as okay that that this is what I should be expecting or whatever but because I know what I have going on and what I'm doing what I'm feeding myself and how I'm I'm, I'm doing right now it didn't add up I literally literally was in here working and went to get up and my back was like yeah I went to go get Rizzy from practice and uh, one of the little things on the tarp on the house flew off and I had to go get a hammer and like nail it back up. And I tried to step back on the um, the porch and my back said, huh? I said, oh, heck nah. It got to be the coffee because I haven't eaten anything other than some cuties. And I had some, um, what else did I have? No, I didn't have oatmeal yesterday. I didn't, I don't think I ate anything. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm like. It was crazy because as I drank it, I felt like the tightness and the tension. It was weird. It was weird. Y'all, the pain was real. And the pain that I've been dealing with, I have not been feeling it. I've been feeling amazing. Then all of a sudden, I drank that coffee. Coffee is the devil. It really is. It's the devil. And, 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 and for, for, for my body, it is. Not saying everybody, but for my body it is. Um, and I'm speaking from my personal my personal um, experience. So, um, I, I love the creamer. I love that texture. I love the spice of cinnamon or whatever. I, I love it. And I put Ceylon cinnamon even in my coffee when I'm making it or whatever. So, today, I was determined to find something. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to do some green tea and I brew it in the little um, metal st stainless steel thing. And I brewed it, let it get, you know, strong and... I put some date syrup. I found some great date syrup from um, Ross. And all I put was the caramel macchiato almond milk in here. And it tastes great. It actually looks like coffee. It's not coffee, but it actually looks like coffee. But it tastes so good. And I said, okay. And it's green tea, so it'll help me, you know, stay consistent. But yeah, if you have been having any back pain and not understanding why or what's going on, look into coffee i'm literally on here about to look literally about to do some research because i want to know i really want to know why does coffee do that to you why does coffee make your back ache and hurt and lock up and and, and all that so you talk to me in the comments tell me if you've experienced this and not know what was going on and maybe i helped you to um you know Un unveil something that you didn't even know was a thing for you and wondering why you were having this issue because yeah I gotta I gotta get away from the coffee I do I gotta get away from the coffee and I also know like even the caramel macchiato almond um, milk the plant-based creamer I want to find a better alternative to that as well I I'm trying to transform my taste buds to not um y'all know I'm a sweet girl a sweet tooth girl so I'm trying to transform my taste buds to not want and need those things um, so yeah, we shall see. Uh, hope you guys are having an awesome Wednesday. I think I'm gonna put this up on Wednesday and I will definitely see you guys in the comments. I do talk back if you're new to the channel. This was just something I wanted to share with you guys because I love sharing informative things and sharing my personal experience of something that can possibly be something you're dealing with. And this could save you some worry or some stress of going to the doctors or whatever. That way you can kind of wean yourself and see if the difference changes by not drinking the coffee or whatever. But y'all, the pain was ridiculous. And the coffee don't taste that good for the pain that I felt. And I have not felt that pain in months. I have not felt that pain in mind. That's why I knew it was coffee. And that's what I try to do. I try to eliminate things like when I also eat like certain dairy and certain meat, I automatically start mucusing, like feeling like I got a cold. And it's the worst. It's the worst. I can feel it. I'm like, <clears throat> and I'm always having to spit. 
my body's like we don't like that stuff and so i'm in um this group um not on facebook or social media or anything like that it's for fasting or whatever and one lady was like my body I, I am doing this for weight loss i can't do keto because my body do not like meat and it does not like dairy and i was like oh she's from philly i said oh she may be my own um, body twin like you know the way my body reacts to stuff because and we we were talking i said because yeah mm -mm, it's not it's not good <laughs> it's not good and i be wanting i crave it but i feel like my body wants to be back in the vegan mode again and and it's hard it's a struggle especially when you love to cook. and i'm not gonna say not when you it's not even about when you love to cook and everything because i was making some amazing vegan meals especially my baked macaroni and cheese girl bye go sit down <laughs> talk to somebody who can tell you something other than the fact that <laughs> my cheese my macaroni and cheese was the bomb People were like, in my tacos and all that, girl, like, what is this? This is not, you not, this is not vegan. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. My skills transformed into the vegan. Um, but it's just for me, um, those things that, like, food addiction is real. Food addiction is so real. And because of that, excuse me, guys, because of that, um, it is hard to pull yourself away for the things that you like to eat that taste good and make you feel good and make you know it, it's hard it, it's hard it can be a challenge i'm not saying you can't i just try to say things are difficult things are challenging but we could do anything we put our mind to and like i always say to my clients consistency is the key and that does not mean perfection you're gonna fall you're gonna waver things not gonna go according to plan but pick yourself back up and keep moving pick yourself back up and keep moving so all right y'all let me get off here i got some work to do and some research to do um because i want to know i want to know and if you want to know talk to me in the comments about what i do find and I'll, I'll come back at a later date to talk to you guys about that so all right gators see you guys later